witness that. Bob Constantine there. Hundreds of people queued up at the Winter Gardens in Western Supermare today to try to win a place working on the newly rebuilt Grand Pier. It's been remodelled following a devastating fire nearly two years ago. And uh, we can now cross live uh, to our Somerset correspondent, David Woodland, who is there. David. That's right, Laura. Well, the Grand Pier is, of course, in the entertainment business. And to help drive that message home to the hundreds of people he'll be employing, the owner has spent the day not only interviewing them, but entertaining them as well. And I must admit, I've never seen job interviews conducted in quite such uh, an atmosphere as we saw here today. The Black Eagles were just one of many acts put on at the Winter Gardens for the hundreds of hopefuls who want a job across the road and the sand at this place. The Grand Pier is due to open for business in July, and this huge snake of hopefuls was queuing round the block this morning. Two and a half thousand people applied originally, and the 276 here today are the finalists. They want everything from ride attendants and bar staff to cashiers and security. Amy, how nervous are you? I'm really nervous. What, what job are you going for? The child's play area. Confident? Yeah. You have to be, don't you? They're looking for bubbly, enthusiastic, energetic people who'll make the 25,000 visitors a day feel they've come somewhere special. I'm an energetic and enthusiastic and hard-working individual. I'm a great asset to have as a team, as I am a team player and have great communication skills. <laughs> Edward Sibick and his partner Maxine are planning to get married on the pier if they both win jobs. Um, quite nervous. I mean, uh, <laughs> we didn't get much sleep last night, to be honest. We, we go, woke up at 4 o'clock this morning, and that was it. You know, we were up all morning. Sort of, uh, a bit excited, but obviously yeah. nervous. But... Ed's interviews seem to go well, although having a TV camera looking over his shoulder was an added strain. The builders are due to complete on the 25th of June. It'll then take two to three weeks to kit it out. There'll be a roller coaster, electric go-karts, dodgems and 500 arcade machines. Well, a large number of the new staff are going to be working in this huge space behind me, which unfortunately we can't show you until the summer and the grand opening. But they tell me they're aiming for something like the space of St Paul's Cathedral mixed with Disney. Up until now, it's, it, it's been all about steel girders and roofs and you know now we're actually getting people and it just brings the whole thing to life those selected were gathered into the winter gardens and told en masse they'd won jobs so david i'm sure the question everyone wants answering is uh, that couple that you were talking to did they get jobs today and are they going to tie the knot the answer to both those questions is yes, and not only did they get the jobs, but all 276 people who turned up here today will get jobs. A handful of people didn't turn up, you see, and everyone here was so good, not a single person has been turned away empty-handed. And with me now are the happy couple, Edward Sibick and uh, Maxine Bell. Fantastic day for you both, then. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes. Yeah, the uh, owners put on a brilliant, um, brilliant day. The entertainment was fantastic. The food was wonderful. And everybody were no happy with a with a job at the end of the day. It's, it's and your good. job is security. It's yeah, I'm going to security. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And, and Maxine, you're you're very nervous. You don't want me to ask you any questions, do you? But what's your job? <laughs> hospitality. Hospitality. Yeah. We're going to have to talk to a lot of people with hospitality, aren't you? Yeah. Why do you want to get married on the pier? Why not? Why not? I mean, they've got a wonderful chapel there, haven't they? Yes. Yes. It's all been. Um, sort of uh, laid out for uh, weddings and that so um, I think we've got some actually yeah, I think we've got some pictures of you hearing the news that you'd got your jobs and therefore we're going to get married on the pier oh, well, you look pretty excited yeah yeah it's brilliant yeah it, it, it's um, like I say it's been a fantastic day and it is um, everyone enjoyed it today didn't they everybody was uh, who, was, who went to the uh, do you mind working together I mean a lot of couples um, don't really want to work together no, uh, we've had experience of working together um, just down the road in, in Pont, uh, Green at Pontins. So you've done it before. Well, yeah, good yeah, and, um, yeah, I'm getting an invite to the wedding, yes? Absolutely, of course you are, David. Brilliant, so I'll get some wedding cake. <laughs> David, thank you very much indeed, and uh, best wishes to both of them. Yes, but I couldn't help thinking the best judge today would have been Piers Morgan. Oh, I'm sure, it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> very good. <laughs> uh, well, it's uh, still all to